All right, let's take a look at the tendons of the arm, uh, I should say the forearm. You can appreciate that this tendon coming right between the radius and the ulna is an inner osseous membrane. It's also a syndesmosis, and this is referred to as the antibrachial inner osseous membrane. You can also see here that this is a ligament, essentially attaching the radius and the carpals. So this is the radiocarpal ligament. Here's a ligament attaching the ulna and the carpals. So it's the ulnar carpal ligament. This area here is called the flexor retinaculum, and I'm going to show you that on the other model as well. That's this thing right here, this white band. Remember the tendon of the palmaris longus travels over it. So flexor retinaculum. And you can appreciate that there's a couple nubs here. This little nub is the tendon for the flexor carpi ulnaris, and this nub is the tendon for the flexor carpi radialis. The median nerve runs right here. This is one of the reasons why people can develop carpal tunnel syndrome. It's actually surrounded by connective tissue, and there can be undue pressure on the nerve given the right inflammation, or the wrong inflammation, as you might guess. All right, now, if you take a look over here, we have the carpal metacarpal ligaments, and because they're on the palmar side, we'll call them the palmar carpal metacarpal ligaments. These ligaments coming across here that hook the carpals together, essentially, are the deep metacarpal ligaments, and they are called specifically the deep transverse metacarpal ligaments because they run transversely. So the deep transverse metacarpal ligaments. If you look here, these ligaments connect phalanges, and so these are the interphalangeal ligaments, or phalangeal ligaments. And of course, there's some here, 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 and here, right? Okay, good. Now, everything on this side is referred to as palmar, pretty much. And so, if I were to like, take a look at these ligaments, for example, that connect the, the carpals to the metacarpals, we would call them palmar intercarpal ligaments. And that would be true with all these others as well, the palmar um, radiocarpal ligament, the palmar uh, ulnar carpal ligament. Okay, so far so good. Let's flip this over and we'll look at the dorsal side. And of course on the dorsal side we have dorsal ligaments and so we'll call them as such. So as we had a palm palmar radiocarpal ligament on the front side, this is the back side, we're going to have a dorsal carpal, I should say radiocarpal ligament, and so a dorsal radiocarpal ligament, and a ulnar radiocarpal ligament. So combining it all, dorsal ulnar carpal ligament. Okay, once again, the dorsal side, so these are the dorsal carpal metacarpal ligaments. These are just simply, once again, called the deep transverse uh, ligaments, which are metacarpal, so deep transverse metacarpal ligaments. And then, of course, the inner phalangeal ligaments, once again.